Place Photoshop images in other applications. How to place Photoshop images in other applications? By the way, Photoshop provides a number of features to help you use images in other applications because of the tight integration between Adobe products. Many Adobe applications can directly import Photoshop BST format files and use Photoshop features like layers and layer styles and masks and transparency and effects. And how to prepare images for page layout programs? How you prepare an image for a page layout programs depends upon the file formats the program recognizes. We have steps. Step number one, Adobe InDesign 2.0 and later can place Photoshop BSD files and you don't need to save or export your Photoshop image to a different file format and transparent areas are displayed and printed as expected. And step number two, most other page layout programs require you to save the image as a TIFF or EBS file. However, if the image contains fully transparent areas, you must you must first define those areas using a clipping path and check the documentation for your page layout program to determine the best format for importing Photoshop images. And if the page layout program cannot place Photoshop BSD files, follow these steps now. Step number one. If your image if your, if if your image contains a transparent background or areas that you want to be transparent, create a clipping path around the OPQ areas of the image and even if you have deleted the background around the image, you must define the area with a clipping path before converting the file to TIFF or EBS format and otherwise areas that are transparent may appear as white in the page layout program. And step number two, choose file then save as. Number three, step number three, in the save as dialog box, choose the appropriate format from the format menu. Then the format you choose depends on the final output for the document. For printing to non-post script, script printers, choose TIFF for printing to post script printers and choose Photoshop EBS, then click save. Step number four, in the TIFF options, or EBS options. Dialog box says the following options. Then leave any remaining options at their default setting and click OK. And what about TIFF options? Dialog box. Set image co completion to noun. And then what about EBS options? Dialog box window. Set preview to TIFF and 8 bytes pixel and encoding to ASC. I I85. And what about EBS options dialog box? Mac operating system, not Windows. Set preview to Mac 8 bytes and pixel and encoding to ASCII85 also, yes. And if the if the layout program program displays displays transparent areas as a white, try printing the document and some layout programs don't display clipping pass passes properly, but print them as expected. And how to use how to use Photoshop artwork in Adobe Illustrator? How to use Photoshop artwork in Adobe Illustrator? Adobe Illustrator, by the way, can both open or place Photoshop files, and you don't need to save or export your Photoshop image Im image to a different file format. And if you place an image into an open Illustrator file, you can incorporate the image as if it were any other element in the at artwork and or you can maintain a link to the original file and also you can't edit a linked image within Illustrator and you can jump back to Photoshop using the edit original command and to revise to, to, to re revise it once saved any changes you make are reflected in the version in Illustrator and you have steps again. Step number one, if the image file is open in Photoshop, save it as a Photoshop BSD file and close the file. Then step number two, in Adobe Illustrator, do one of the following. We have options. Option one, to open the file directly in Illustrator. <coughs> to open the file directly in Illustrator, choose file, <coughs> then open.
and to locate the image in the open file dialog box and click open <coughs> to incorporate the image into an existing illustrator file choose file then place then locate the file in the place dialog box and make sure the link option is not selected and click place and option 3 to place the image into a file but maintain a link to the original choose file then place and in the place dialog box locate the file then select the link option and click place illustrator centers the image in the open illustration a uh, read x through the image indicates it is it's linked and not editable step number three if you opened or placed the image without linked, linking, the Photoshop import dialog box appears. Choose the op appropriate option as follows. And click OK. And we have two options again. Option number one. Convert Photoshop layers to objects to convert the layers to illustrator objects. This option, by the way, pre-service, masks blending, moods and transparency, and optionally, slices and image maps. However, it doesn't support Photoshop adjustments, layer and layer effects. And option 2. Flatten, flatten Photoshop layers to a single image to merge all the layers into a single li layer and this option preserves the look of the image but you can no longer edit individual layers by the way and how to create transparency how to create transparency using image clipping paths you can use image clipping paths to define transparent areas in images you, you place in page layout applications in addition macOS users can embed, uh, embed Photoshop images in many word, many word processor files and you may want to use only part of a Photoshop image when printing it or placing it in another application for example you may want to use a foreground object and exclude the background and image clubbing path lets you isolate the foreground object and make everything else transparent when the image is printed or placed in another application and do not and be careful not and be careful here again please paths are vector paths therefore they have hard edges and you can't preserve the f the softness of a f of the f f of the edge such as in a shadow when creating an image clipping path like this screenshot and image imported into illustrator or in design without image clipping path and left and with image clipping path right number one draw a work path that defines the area of the image you want to show and if you have already selected the area of the image you want to show you can convert the selection to work path and see convert a selection to path for instructions step number two in the paths panel save the work path as a path and number three choose choose clipping path from the paths panel menu and set the following options and then click ok and for path choose the path you want to save and for flatness for flatness leave leave the flatness value blank to print the image using the printer's default value and if you experience printing errors enter a flatness value to determine how the post script interpreter expermiates the curve and the lower the flatness value the greater the number of straight lines used to draw the curve and the more accurate to curve and values can range can range from 0 0.2 to 100 in general and a flatness setting from 8 to 10 is recommended for high resolution printing 1200 dbi to 2400 dbi and a setting from 1 to 3 for low resolution printing 300 dbi to 600 dbi step number four if you plan if you plan to print the file using process color convert the file to cmyk mode and number five step number five save the file save the file by doing one of the following to print the file using a postscript printer save in photoshop ebs or dsc dcs or bdf format 
and to print the file using a non post script printer, save in TIFF format and export to Adobe InDesign or to Adobe PageMaker 5.0 or later. How to print image clipping passes? How to print? How to print image clipping passes? Sometimes an image sitter cannot interpret interpret image clipping passes or an image clipping pass is too complex for a printer resulting in a limit check error or a general post script script error and sometimes you can print a complex pass on a low resolution printer without difficulty difficulty but run into problems when printing the same pass on a high resolution printer this is because the lower resolution printer simplifies the pass and using fewer line segments to describe curves that than the high resolution printer does and you can simplify you can simplify an image you can simplify an image clipping pass in the following ways by the way and manually and manually and manually reduce the number of uh, of anchor points on the pass and increase the tolerance setting used to create the pass and to do and to, to do this load the ex existing pass as a selection and choose make work pass from the passes panel menu and increase the tolerance setting for from four to six pixel is a good starting value by the way and then recreate the image clipping passes What about export bases to Adobe Illustrator? If you'd like to export bases to Adobe Illustrator, what should you do? The bases to Illustrator command lets you export Photoshop bases as Adobe Illustrator files. Exporting bases in this way simplifies the task of combining Photoshop and Illustrator artwork or using Photoshop features with Illustrator artwork. For example, you may want to export a bin tool bass and stroke it to use a strap with a Photoshop clipping path you are printing in Illustrator and you can also use this feature to log in Illustrator text or objects with Photoshop paths by the way and you have many steps also. Step number one, draw and save a path or convert an existing selection into a path. Step number two, choose file, then choose export, then passes to, to Illustrator. Step number three, choose a location for the exported pass and enter a file name and make sure work pass is, is chosen from the pass menu to export the pass. Step number four, click save. Then step number five, open the file in Adobe Illustrator and you can mani manipulate the pass or use the pass to align Illustrator objects that you add to the file. And do not and be careful again that the crop marks in Adobe Illustrator reflect the dimensions of the of the Photoshop image. The position of the path within the Photoshop image is mentioned is is maintained is maintained provided you don't change the crop marks or move the path. And link or embed link or embed an image using OLE Windows only. By the way, Photoshop is an <coughs> OLE 2.0 server, which means that it supports embedding or linking an imaging image in in OLE container applications and usually a word processing or page layout program. For example, you can insert Photoshop files and selections into other OLE applications such as Adobe Page Maker, Maker and Adobe Frame Maker and Microsoft Word using copy and paste or other methods and the link lets you place a link in the OLE container file uh, that that refers to the Photoshop file on the hard drive and embedding lets you insert the Photoshop file into the OLE container container file and after the image is it's uh, the container application you can double click is uh, for editing in Photoshop <coughs> and when you close the image in Photoshop it's updated in the container application again and link or embedded link or embedded a selection how to link or embed a selection. Link and embed a selection or image is an OLE application. Do one the following. You should do one the following. Copy a selection in Photoshop 
and insert it in you in your OLE container application by the way using the application space special com command and refer to your world processing or page layout application documentation for more in instructions based selections can only be embedded not linked and option number two use your OLE container applications insert object command to insert a new Photoshop image or existing Photoshop file as on o an OLE embedded or OLE linked object and refer to your word processing or page layout application documentation for instructions <coughs> and how to insert an unliked screen resolution bitmap into an OLE application with the move tool by the way with the move tool drag selection to the OLE container application and when you drop the object it appears as a 72 BPI bitmap and which cannot be automatically updated in Photoshop and how to modify and update a linked or embedded image in an OLE application in Photoshop <coughs> We have many steps here now. Step number one, double click the linked or embedded image in your word processing or page layout application to start Photoshop. If it's not already running and open the image for editing. Step number two, modify the image as desired. Step number three, do one of the following. For embedded images, close the file or choose file, then choose update or file and close and return close and return to application name and for linked images save and close the file note and be careful you can also modify linked files without first opening the container document and the linked image is updated in the next time you open the document in its OLE container application <coughs>